this seems to be a situation. A little bit. You're in. Abandoned ship! Abandoned ship! Get the fuck out! Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. So, it's been a while since we actually last had an episode, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, one, I've just been kind of busy with work. Two, the server has just been kind of progressing as people are logging on. But we have made some progress, and actually quite a, quite a bit of progress. So, you can see here that I am standing in a brand new structure filled with concrete. I'm going to go outside here, just so you guys are able to see what exactly this is. Let's just walk on over this way. And I'll give you guys the tour. So basically, we had a well, little bit of a backstory. We had a really bad Horde Knight in one of the apartment buildings and as you guys know in one of the previous episodes the uh, the church that we were staying in pretty much got destroyed so we decided to try an apartment building uh, i think it was somewhere over here i might be over here and i mean it it, it was okay it it was just okay it would have taken a lot of reinforcing to get up to par and also, I mean, it's a quest location, so every time you do the quest, it actually resets it, and it just would have been a whole thing. So, uh, we decided to build a base, a horde base, one of our own. And this is kind of what it turned out to be. We, we wanted to have an idea of basically something that was somewhat close to town, something we haven't really done before, and something that was, I don't know, just will hopefully survive the hordes and this thing is completely untested so this horde night is going to be the first night where we actually test this thing out and see how it performs but the idea behind it and again if this works and you guys like it then i'll probably just end up making a build tutorial on how i did this but i'm not going to get ahead of myself if it absolutely fails then you're not going to see anything <laughs> so um Without further ado, let's go ahead and give the tour. So first things first, I decided to build a little bridge heading up to the base here on only one side. And on this bridge, I've got ramps on the sides. So because in Alpha 19, zombies actually will swim. So I wanted to build the ramps down just a little bit so that they actually swim on onto the ramps based off of any direction that they go to. So. On this bridge, it goes over, it's got elect electricity uh, for the fences, it's got blade traps, and the idea is they get slowed by the water, because they're technically still swimming, and then they get slowed by the blade traps, and then they make their way all the way up over here, and, I mean, hopefully they're dead by then, but we've got our turrets here, and we've got a drawbridge, so in case anything does go south, we can just flip a switch in there, raise that drawbridge up, and start cleaning them cleaning them up now you guys may be thinking well what's to stop them from you know just attacking the base on the sides so I came up with an idea which again it, it's similar to the bridge and I built ramps all the way to where I thought the zombies would be swimming where they could reach and these might need to go down a little bit further this, again it's still untested so we'll have to see how it performs but I went ahead and built all this all the way around and this took a fair amount of materials to do so it, it's taken some time to amass the materials but thankfully we did have help from our team now with this iron ball or iron bar wall right here the reasoning behind this is because we don't want the zombies just coming up here and then dropping down here and trying to break through the base 
Now, this is te this wall is technically four thick, and we also have a three thick wall right there. But we're going to be standing in this caged area. So, plus the, b the blank space with the swimming, zombies are going to have to... They're going to struggle getting to us, ideally. Even if they do come through this area right here. But... The hope is that they say we're coming from here, they look at this base and say, okay, well the path of least resistance is to not break anything and just kind of walk along all the way over here, and then they get to this area, we got a turret here, knocks them off, they come over here and walk up, get stuck on this blade trap, right? So that's the idea. Now, I mean, I could have extended this a little bit further out down here but I was a little bit worried that if I did that too far then they would ignore the whole path of least resistance thing and just try and go straight through the wall because they're not going to walk or swim too far to get to us. Now let's go ahead and jump on in the base so I can show you the base design itself. I have these little lips here just to prevent any zombies from jumping up on this lip here and trying to just you know break through and again hop on over so we have this to prevent them from doing so it also gives us a nice little area to look down in case they do break through a wall and shoot down into this water here um so we're gonna go ahead and jump through these vault doors and again all of these are double doored just because we want to ensure our safety um so let's close these on up yeah, we got iron bars so we can shoot out of them. We can double up, shoot on the outsides here. And in the core of the base, again, double doors. So actually, I'm going to show you guys a quick trick here. Um, so if you are running at a vault door, you can just double tap E and it'll open and close the door while you're able to run. So we can just do this here. And then same applies to the vault hatches. Closes right behind you. Really nice. But... Down here, we've got our generator, electrical, sleeping bag, and supply room. Now, what this room functions as is basically a safe house for all of our generators, just in case anything wacky happens. Um, and it really protects these things from any kind of spitters or exploders, demolitioners, whatever, right? So, that's how we have these currently set. Now we got our nice little supply boxes, and again, this is a brand new build. There's really not much in here. I've just got my leftover supplies in here. As you can see, we got engines that we're setting up for turrets and all of that. But, um, so the way I designed this was it, it's all nice and symmetrical. So that way I can easily gauge wires and turrets and, and electronics and all that. And if you guys would like an electronics tutorial, I could definitely put a video out there because it's constantly changing. Uh, some tips and tricks maybe when doing these electrical builds. Me personally, I do like to have the wires to where they're showing a limited amount just because it kind of cleans up the base and makes it look a lot nicer. But one thing we do want to craft here is we're going to want to craft a uh, vault door right here vault door right here and right here because again that limits the exposure that the zombies are want to or that they're going to want to take to get to us so basically what they'll see is three walls plus another layer on each side and another layer right here and another layer right there in order to try and get up to us so they're going to say no that's not worth it and go around to the front so we will head on up top now and up here is again where you see the electrical wiring outlets come up to up to, up to here, just extending those relays a little bit, trying to get the wire to pull a little bit more and not push through the, the ceilings and be an absolute mess. So we have these little ramps here with the iron bars that look perfectly down onto this platform that goes all the way around, and it's a really 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 good way of seeing all of the zombies that are approaching from whatever angle. Now we've also got this little room here, and this is what we call the master switch room. So if we were to head in here, we've got a nice little spotlight here that lights up the bridge so we can see what's happening, since we're anticipating most of the enemies coming through here. And we've got these little triangle pieces with the wall cutouts right here so we can see and really just abuse angles. So this lifts us up a little bit, gives us a little bit of room to play with and to hide. we got peak corners. Um, these two switches right here, I gotta make sure 
people aren't down there right now, but what these two switches do is they activate the blade traps and the electrical wires. Now, this is important that it's up here because this is the best vantage point that we have. We can see if zombies are actually coming through on this bridge here, and it's actually a lot more protected than the iron bars downstairs. One thing that you want to be sure of is you don't want any electronics in a line of sight from one of the police zombies when they're spitting or any of the birds because they can get damaged and they can break and if they do break then that means you lose all of that. So I try and hide all of it as best as I can. Now we do have a little bit of things that are trivial that are a little bit exposed such as this little speaker right here. It's kind of just for fun. But we've also got a power drawbridge, which is on the switch right here. And we've got the spotlight that is hooked up to the switch right here. But other than that, that's pretty much the build. And I mean, it, it did take quite a bit to farm up the resources and design this. And by no means is it is it done yet. Um, we've also got plenty of room for turrets to go here on the outer edges, which is going to be a really nice touch, really nice addition. These are probably going to be shotgun turrets. We might have some um, SMG turrets over here on these corners so that they're not impeding line of sight of the shooters in here. But that way we've got three turrets on every corner here and really lighten zombies up and just giving them hell. And then we can have all of our shooters over here. We can also put some more turrets all along these walls here. We can um, pretty much customize it however you want, which is one of the really nice touches about this type of base. Now, one other thing that we can do is we can actually remove this layer of wall here and we can actually lower it down and put turrets on top of it if we wanted to. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do to play around with these bases. We can put turrets on top of the cement here that is holding all of this and it's really just quite nice at how it's set up. But we'll have to just wait and see how it performs on this Horde Knight, and it is a Day 51 Horde Knight, so things are getting progressively harder and harder. But as you can see, the thunder is rolling in, things are about to get heated up, and on top of the base, really quick before we sign off, we're going to go back up on here, and show you our nice little birdcage here. So the reason I put this up here is one, I wanted it to be protected from birds that could be incoming uh, on the top here. I mean, they can't. we still can be affected by the spitter birds, but you don't want to just open this door and immediately be hit by a, a flood of birds. So we have this little bird cage here. So if we needed to get out, we can. We can just open this guy. And I do have parkour, so I can just jump right out. But for the teammates who do not have parkour, we have this uh, little hatch opening right here, and they can actually jump on top of this in order to jump out. So, kind of a nice little touch. And again, this is all done with the advanced rotation. So instead of having this vault hatch open upwards, we have it open downwards so that it can be assisted by this hatch right here and uh, not get in the way. But yeah, uh, we got our shotgun turrets set up here. This is another anti-bird defense measure that we have and they are currently active and ready to go. But yeah, that is the build, guys, so wish us luck on the Horde Knight, and we will see what happens from there. Alrighty. Alright, day 51 Horde Knight, here we go. Alright, flip these switches. Flip them on. Straight in the water. Okay. Flip them on. There it is. Rook, what's this other one here? Uh, the other one is for the electricity. Oh, they're coming up. Okay. And she's just running along the side. Alright, we may have to make some adjustments. Oh, 
I may have to move the uh, bridges or the connectors back just a tad bit. Where? Fucking under the ground motor fucking pop shooting at me. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and flip the bridge? If anyone's inside. Left. Yep. Yeah. And shot the ones in here. Damn time. Down real fast. Alright, we're gonna have to lower it. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. There's a bomb shell underneath that dude. Yep. Yeah, it looks like I'll have to uh, clip the edges off there. Yeah. Heard even doing anything down there. Yeah. Oh, there's one inside. What? Take him. down the center of the dude. Yep, I mean it's not gonna make it very far. But yeah, don't wait waste the explosives on him when he's just running down there. <laughs> Back around the corner. I gotta close this door. How are the sides doing? looking. Starting to clear it. Slowly. Oh, 
Um, are the electric? The I don't think the electric traps are on. They were. Working. And they're running right through it. Yeah, I think there must be a connection missing. They look very hot when they're exploding arrows and destroy them. Sides look okay. AK's fucking dead again. I have to heal myself too, I'm getting hit by every cop of it. door. Coming in, big incoming. I watch them like this, and not from that one little church spot. is a little, uh, a little daunting. Yeah. still up.
Fuck! Why are you not dead? I got a very persistent biker that's been after me for quite some time. They're running to the side somewhere? What the fuck's this one doing? That's just wrong, he's around the side. door right now. We know now. has any um, tools to repair, can you get a repair on that front door, otherwise that thing's going down real quick. I do not have any tools. You don't have a tool to repair at all? No. That's not good. Someone take my spot outside. Where, where were you outside? Just on the side there. Yeah, they're bringing to the front door. Did I not bring any steel with me? I did not. We might be screwed on the front door there. Well, this seems to be a situation. A little bit. You're in. Abandoned ship! Abandoned ship! Get the fuck out! That was a, uh... That was an what epic failure. Off, four? That was an epic failure, and um, we're gonna have to reassess the the base build. So, um, unfortunately, we had a couple deaths due to my poor design, but we will get a quick fix and give it a retry and tailor it up and make sure that it is ready to go for the next one. Oh, there's a fucking hole there.